manipulate memory values. I've been getting a lot of questions about this, so here's a little bit of explanation how to uh, how to do that. So to start, we need the right uh, emulator and the version of that emulator. Uh, this is very specific. So you want to download EPSXE version 1.9.0. Is the version I just downloaded it actually? Well, it's the one I'm currently using. Um, so there we go, got it running. Then you're gonna need Cheat Engine. I'm using 7.4. I also downloaded it a little while ago, a couple of hours ago actually. Um, so, and then finally, you need uh, our cheat sheet, which can be downloaded from uh, Sid Montague's his website where you can find our guide and other stuff. Um, so it's this one, the Digimon World 1 file of Sid's magical memory values. You want to go and download it and then uh, start the emulator, start Cheat Engine, run the game and we start by loading the cheat sheet. You can just use this button here. You're gonna notice that the values are all question marks. This is because there's it's not populated with data just yet. And then there's this all this other stuff. You might want to ignore address and type. Most interesting thing is active and description and that value. Here we can see the kinds of uh, like for instance the stats of the Digimon we can see here. And HP and MP is down here. But there's no values yet. So this is because we haven't linked Cheat Engine to the emulator, so it's this does not refer to anything just yet. So we're now we're gonna link it to the emulator, and then we're almost done already. So you press this button here on the left, and then you open the emulator. We keep our current addresses, which is this data, and boom, it gets populated with data. There we go. We're already set. That's it. Main thing though is get the right emulator, get 1.9.0. I have a lot of setups, about four or five setups uh, with emulators. I don't know why I have all these different setups, but hey, <laughs> I just have them now. And one of them is not working. Uh, it says it's version 1.9.0, but it's not working. I don't know why, honestly, <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but the other ones, including the very newly downloaded 1.9.0 version is working just fine, which is what you're looking at. Um, all right, so to show you that I've got the right stats: offense 75. There we go. Offense 75. Defense 50. Yeah, correct as well. Speed 75. Range 50. And I can now go ahead and manipulate. So let's make this maximum. Boom. 99 offense. Powerful ghost. And I can even do a little bit silly. Boom, there we go. It's way too much. Oh, that's actually interesting. <laughs> I just, I never thought of that. If I make this, no, 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 no. That is massive. Oh, so, <laughs> I was actually expecting the, uh, the H, the combat, or the HP. Because it, since it's 9999 as max, I figured offense 9999 would also just as long as that bar, but it's actually longer. Hmm, funny. I never expected that. Now I'm curious. Hmm. Okay, this wasn't really planned, but... <laughs> 2100? Oh, almost. Oops. 2000. Oh. Seems, ah, it's a little bit shorter. Seems, well, maybe that's it. Anyways. As you can see, I can now just manipulate the memory values. You can fiddle around uh, and give some demos on that uh, in other clips. So basically, that's already it. If it doesn't work for you with your old download, with your old emulator that you already have, try downloading the version that I, I show. I'm gonna put a link in the description. Uh, try and try with that one. If that doesn't work, it's, it's got to be something in your setup. I can't tell you what, sadly. I'm no expert on this. Um, 
but at least I can confirm that if you download EPSX E 1.9.0 now <laughs> and you use the most modern cheat engine and the current version of the of the cheat sheet then it can work if your emulator is configured properly or set up properly with the correct BIOS and stuff. I'm not sure in I don't know the effects of the BIOS though. If you can use a different BIOS than I have, I don't know. Um, as far as I, I know, only the version of the emulator is relevant. So there you go. That's how to link Cheat Engine to uh, the emulator and use our cheat sheet. Good luck with it, guys. I hope you're gonna have lots of fun experimenting. <laughs> Cheers.